Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to create a Hello World application using MVC. So let's click on Visual Studio 2019. Click on Create New Project. So we're actually going to be using the .NET framework as opposed to .NET Core in this particular example. So do a search for MVC and you're going to want to click on this one here. So it's the ASP.NET web application using the .NET framework. So click next. Let's go ahead and leave everything default here. The only thing you're going to want to make sure you check is that you're using the latest version of .NET unless you have a really good reason to not do so. Okay, let's click create. Here, you're going to want to select MVC. Click create. So, this video may come in useful if you're just learning MVC. MVC uh, can be quite hard to get to grips with, so it's always good to start off with something like a, a nice and easy Hello World program. So, there's a whole bunch of different ways we can actually go about doing this, so let's try a few of them. So first thing you're going to want to do is right click controllers and click on add a controller. Let's add an empty controller, click add. We've got to give this controller a name, so let's call it Hello World. That'll do, click on add. Right, so we're going to want to add a view. So right click here where it says index and we'll go ahead and get into the details of what all of these different bits mean uh, in another video. But for now, we're going to keep it real simple. So just right click index and I want you to select add view. And here we're going to go ahead and I think what we'll do is we will leave everything as it is. So click add. And then what we can do is we can right click this, which is the view itself, and select view in browser. This will open in Microsoft Edge. And as you can see, we've got a header we've got a footer and we can go into where they're coming from in another video but as you can see what we're actually getting from our view is index and if we have a look at the view we can see a h2 h2 tag with index in it so a really cheeky way of doing a hello world program is just to put a h1 tag in here and type hello world let's save that Alt tab back to the browser and click F5 and we've got hello world. But that's a little bit cheeky because we didn't really do anything, any real coding in that. So let's let's find a better way of doing it. That's just one way of doing it. Right, save that, alt tab back and refresh just to make sure it's gone, which it has. Well, another really easy way of doing this is to change the the return type of the index method, right? So let's go ahead and change that and we're going to change it to content result, this one here. And then we're going to change view to content and in the open and closed brackets we're going to pass in a string and in that string, you've probably guessed it, we're going to put hello world. There we go. Now you're going to have to build it, so control shift B of course you can access build from the build menu and build solution. It's much quicker though if you just click Control shift b let's Alt tab back. Now hopefully we'll see only Hello World. So click F5 and that's perfect. Although let's change that to a header one tag. So you can actually put in HTML in here. So let's change that to a header one tag slash h1 
don't forget to build it control shift B alt tab back click F5 and hopefully we'll see a header one tag excellent and we do um, let's right click that let's click on view page source and as you can see all we got back was the header one tag we didn't get back anything else and we can discuss why that is in another video but for now that's another way of doing it um, let's do something more interesting though because there's uh, some more interesting ways to do this so uh, they get progressively harder so let's try another way so let's get rid of that let's do an undo so control Z let's go back to what we had so we're going to return an action result and we're going to return a view all right save that let's go back to the index view itself right as you can see at the top here we're using something called a view bag now you can use a view bag to pass pass uh, you know details from from the controller to the view so we can pass uh, little values so let, let's try using that shall we so let's go back to our method here and let's type view bag dot and here we can just type whatever we like so I'm gonna type hello world message and I'm gonna set that equal to a string and as you can probably guess it's gonna be hello world there we go um, flip back to the view now we need to now we need to display that value so it's gonna be at view bag dot um, intelligence isn't working so let's go ahead and just copy it to make sure we've got the right thing I'm hoping that's gonna work so control shift B let's flip back to the browser let's click F5 hopefully yeah it did work brilliant as you can see we've got hello world we've got the the footer here and the header and we've got the the index tag which is a h2 tag and if we wanted to, we can go ahead and put that in a header one tag. So let's just uh, put a header one tag around that. You don't have to build it, so just save, Alt Tab, F5. And as we can see, we've got a nice hello world in a header one tag. Um, so in the view, you don't have to build it. If you make changes in here, you just have to save it. If you're making changes to the code, you have to build it. Right, so there's one more way I'm going to show you um, so let's delete that let's go back to the code let's get rid of the view bag let's build it and let's just alt tab back to the browser click F5 just to make sure we're back to the start which we are right so let's try the the hardest way of doing this which is the the way you're supposed to work with MVC you're supposed to pass an object to the view so let's see if I can remember how to do that so first thing we want to do is we want to right click models click add and we want to add a class and we're going to call this class hello world uh, we're going to add view model on the end click enter and we're only going to use one property there's a little bit of a shortcut here if you type prop and click tab tab Visual Studio is kind enough to do some of the work for us. Let's change it from an int to a string. And let's change my property to hello world message. And then let's flip back control tab to the controller. Right, so we want to make an object of this class because this is the object we're going to pass to the view. And so in order to do that, we need to add the namespace. But I'll show you a I'll show you an easy way of doing that, shall I? So let's do hello world view model model my smart that's the name I'm gonna give it equal to new and then click tab, open and close brackets with a semicolon on the end. Now as you can see this is coming up with a little bit of an error, but it's no big deal. If you just click this little down arrow click on the top one using what that does is that imports the namespace from where this object this class lives 
but we can go into more details about that in another video. Right, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we want to set the hello world message. So let's do that right now. And as you can probably guess, we're going to set that to hello world. I'm showing you a few different ways of achieving the same thing. So I'm hoping that uh, helps you to see how this technology fits together. So I'm hoping it's going to help somebody out there. Right, so we've got an object, we've nude it up, and we've also set the property hello world message to hello world. Let's go ahead and build that. Actually, I'm also going to want to pass that into the view. So there we go. Now you want to build it. Now let's control tab to the view. Now we need to make a few changes to this view. First thing we need to do is tell the view what model we're using. So in other words, we need to tell the view what object we're going to pass to it. So let's have a go at doing that. I'm hoping my memory is uh, good enough to remember. So let's go ahead and copy this namespace because we have to give it the full place, the full name of where our class lives. So hopefully if I do dot and paste hello world controller in there, that should work. So we're basically telling the view that this is the model we're using and essentially what we're doing is we're providing the location of where Hello World Controller lives. The next thing we're going to do, I'll tell you what we'll do, let's try and let me build that, see if that works. It does work. Let me just flip back to the actual page just to see what's going on, see if that actually loads got a slight error here okay let's just uh, have a look yep that looks fine to me let's go ahead and actually try and display that value on the page so model dot and Actually, it's not, it's not coming through. Let me have a think about this. Hello world controller. Ah, of course, <laughs> of course. It's the wrong class. That's exactly what we've done there. So let's go and select the right class. We want hello, not that one. We want this one, hello world view model. And let's go back to the view. Okay, okay, right, we're gonna change that and we want to select this. That's right. In my haste, I selected the wrong class. But at the end of the day, that's all part and parcel of programming. Sometimes you might have the odd bug that you need to fix. So let me paste that in there. All right, I'm hoping we're good to go now. Let me get rid of that, build it, flip back to the web page click f5 right good that's perfect now we want to display the value and in order to access that value we type at and then model dot and model will be whatever object we've passed through to this view and then as you can see intellisense has been kind enough to give us the property that we want so click tab on that let's go ahead and build it Let's flip back F5, and as you can see, we've got Hello World. Now let me copy that, put it right at the very top. Let's go ahead and wrap some header one tags, just like we did before, just so I can show you the different ways of doing it. Build that, flip back F5, and there we have it. We've got a nice Hello World application. I've shown you a few different ways of achieving that. We can just literally write HTML in the view. We can actually return a different type of content. So we can go ahead and return um, some, just, just some HTML. We don't even have to return a view to the page. So when we did that, we actually returned a content result. Um, we've returned an action result and we've returned a view. We passed some parameters through using the view bag. Otherwise, I'd only recommend using the view bag for very small bits of information. 
the proper way of doing it is to create yourself an object typically the convention is to call it a view model so whatever object you're going to pass through to the view you want to call it a view model at, at the end as a suffix um, and and this is probably the way MVC was designed to work you pass a nice cleanly defined object to it and as you can see we displayed that on the screen so I'm gonna wrap it up there I think this video is longer than I expected it to be so hopefully you're still watching and with me um, hopefully you found that enjoyable if you did go ahead and click that like button for me uh, if you want to see similar content to this in the future why not consider subscribing and uh, if you've got any suggestions or questions go ahead and throw them in the comment section below and until next time take care